Hey there. Ever had a three-phase motor that just won't stop tripping the breaker? Super frustrating, right? But don't worry, I've got you covered. Today, we're going to break down the most common reasons why this happens and how to figure out what's causing it. Let's jump in. Overload condition. All right, first up, overload. This basically means the motor is working too hard. Maybe it's got too much load on it, or the voltage is lower than it should be, so it's pulling extra current. Either way, the circuit breaker is doing its job, shutting things down before the motor overheats. Short circuit. Next, we've got short circuits. These are a big deal. If two wires touch, or the insulation breaks down, boom. Instant surge of current. The breaker trips right away to prevent serious damage, or even fire. Phase loss, single phasing. A three-phase motor needs all three phases to run smoothly. If one is missing, maybe because of a blown fuse, a loose connection, or a bad contactor, the motor tries to make up for it by pulling extra current. And that, that leads straight to overheating and a tripped breaker. Ground fault. This happens when electricity leaks to the ground, often because of damaged insulation or moisture. The breaker senses this and trips to prevent shocks or equipment damage. If your motor is old or exposed to a damp environment, this could be your culprit. Locked rotor, jammed motor. Imagine trying to start a car with the parking brake on. If the motor shaft is stuck, maybe due to seized bearings or a jammed load, it'll pull a huge amount of current. And you guessed it, the breaker shuts it down for safety. Circuit breaker issues. And hey, sometimes the problem isn't even the motor. A weak, old, or undersized breaker might be tripping when it really shouldn't. So, always keep that in mind too. How to figure out what's causing a three-phase motor to trip the circuit breaker. Checking for overload. First thing, grab a clamp meter and check how much current the motor is drawing. Compare it with the rating on the nameplate. If it's running too high, you might need to reduce the load or check for low voltage. Looking for a short circuit. Turn off the power and take a look at the wiring. If you see burn marks, melted insulation, or smell something burnt, that's a red flag. A quick test with a multimeter can confirm if there's a short between phases. Detecting phase loss. Use a multimeter to check voltage on all three phases. If one is missing, check fuses, connections, and the contactor. Fixing this early can save the motor from serious damage. Testing for ground faults. A Megger insulation tester is your best friend here. If it shows low resistance between the windings and the motor body, there's leakage. That means you've got an insulation problem that needs fixing. Checking for a locked rotor. Try turning the motor shaft by hand. If it doesn't move, you might have seized bearings or a jammed load. Solve the mechanical issue first before resetting the breaker. Inspecting the circuit breaker. If the motor seems fine but it's still tripping, the breaker itself might be the problem. Swap it with a properly rated one and see if that fixes the issue. And there you have it. If your three-phase motor is tripping, now you know exactly what to check. If this video helped, hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for more troubleshooting tips.